Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to take a look at using the correspondence view and some other different tricks to try to put scans together that are already in clusters. As we can see here, uh, we are in the new interface. We've got a scan cluster with two separate scan clusters inside of it. Uh, the scans are sequential, so we've got 0, 1, and 2, and 3. So obviously these scans are related. They should be close enough to put together, but they have yet to be able to go together. We've used several different uh, options, registration through top-down, top-down, cloud-to-cloud, and not had any luck. So here's a couple things that we can do to try to put these scans together uh, to, uh, to fix it. Uh, I do prefer to work in the old interface. Uh, what we can then do is grab this icon here, correspondent split view. Now in this split view, we're going to grab two scans that should be next to each other. In this case, it would be number one and number two. As we come into focus here, we've got quite a bit of geometry, almost too much geometry, depending on how close our scan locations are. But by looking through here, uh, looks like we've got this generator and this here. So that could be uh, a general location that's the same. Now, if we then look behind us, we've got a staircase with an X cross member. Let's look behind us here. There. It looks like that is the machine and this is the staircase. So what we can do now is we can start marking planes that we have in common. So we've got this curb here. This is significant plane. And we will force a correspondence between those two. We're going to do this as we go along so we don't lose track of where we are and what we're doing. Looks like we may be able to grab a little bit of this downward slope here. And the same downward slope in this ramp here. Let's see if we can grab some here. We've got some smoke, looks like, in the way from one of the machines. That should do it. Force those correspondences. Because of the angle that we're at here, we'll have to find a couple other surfaces that are flat where everything seems to be round. We can grab the top of this curb. We can grab this garage door. We can force all of our current correspondences between the two scans. Now, as we go into back into our explorer we can see where we've actually begun to put these scans together they should be fairly easy to grab now we'll get them close and then we'll go ahead and update our scan notice how we've got a very large maneuvering tool here and only in the old interface are we able to just grab that and reduce that with a readily available tool
and now we can go up into our folder and we will do a place scans we'll run a cloud to cloud because we've got some surfaces that we can match up see how it goes after our cloud to cloud registration update we now have a green light putting those two uh, clusters together we can do the same as we go along uh, for each of these other clusters as you can see this is six through ten and four and five so again you would go in uh, to the correspondence split view grab number six and number five look for common common locations common uh, points common uh, planes and anything else that you can reference together.